Hello everybody, my name is Ghostbit and welcome to this updated tutorial on an old one that I made a while back on the wave spawner tutorial and I recently got a question from there and someone asked how do I summon multiple enemies instead of just one enemy type. I thought this was a very good question and I figured I'd follow up on that question by making a full blown video of it. Not only will I show you how to summon multiple enemies, but we're going to do it at random. They're going to come out at random points. So that uh, I'll go above and beyond for my <laughs> my subscribers here. Uh, so okay, so let's get started. So looking at what we have here down below, uh, we have what we went off of the last video. I'm not going to go over that. Uh, the video is down below. Feel free to pause and just finish all of that and then come back to this video. But the end result should look like this. And uh, it's basically the enemy going off from the right end of the screen to the left. And uh, you, you know, you have the character and you just basically move. And in the video, I went vertical um, to, to if you want, if you're wishing to follow, I just switched this from Y to X and I went negative because it's going from the negative hand side. Uh, just feel free to copy. And then I got speed, of course. Feel free to copy this if you like. Uh, so that way you can catch up. They're moving on the side, if not on the top, basically. But um, but yeah, you've seen the enemy. Now the art uh, as you're seeing is uh, the art that I made for Brackies. I was supposed to submit my game, and I just lost interest, <laughs> so I didn't. I didn't submit my game. But I figured, hey, I use the art assets for good use, so I figured I would use them for um, this tutorial. Okay, so how do we sum how do we summon random enemies? Um, I have four enemies for this demo. Um, you can feel free to just use a bunch of multiple colors, sprites, uh, but enemy number one is like this little mind bug. Enemy number two is like this ghost looking fellow. Enemy number three is this mushroom guy. And number four is this strange cloak person. Um, feel free to have whatever you want, honestly. It could just be multiple squares, colors. <laughs> but again, I'm using my art asset that I, I was supposed to submit for Brackies and I just didn't, I didn't find passion to <laughs> finish the game. Um, so that's my enemies. So what we're going to do, let's look at our script. I'm not going over this in the last, cause you can, you already know what you, what you see. I've explained all of this in the last video. This is basically what gets the enemy summoning here. So, um, how do we go about doing it? So let me go ahead and show you exactly how we're going to go about that. Okay. So what you see here is an array. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'll explain it in a second, but I have up to four. And they're basically enemies one, two, three, four that you just saw a second ago. Um, array is just basically a container that holds an, an, an amount of numbers. So, you know, it always counts from one, zero and then it goes one, two, and three. Always remember that. An array, if you're going to do array, don't forget the comma. It's an open brackets like this. I mean, brackets. <laughs> and then it's zero, one, two, three, four. That's how the arrays are counted. And within the arrays, I basically did preload and then I, I loaded the enemy. So each enemy is going by the value. This is value 0, 1, 2, and 3. So that's how this is our whole, our whole array and it's called enemy list. So that's basically why I created to, uh, to load all of our enemies. So we have this and we're going to go off of enemy list, not enemy 1. So we have a group of enemies here and we want to summon them and we want to summon them at random. So we're going to do just that. So we're going to go ahead and comment out this old code here. We're going to leave the bottom here because this is the bre our bread and butter. This is basically what gets everything working. This whole code here was just basically to summon one enemy. We're going to recreate this, but we're going to have it surrounding our array list. And we're going to get to that right now. So the first thing we want to do is basically call on the array. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a variable here to a summon the array. But we're going to summon it random. So we're, we're going to do this var enemy, we call it list, I think. Should we name it that? No, you know, we'll call it enemy spawn. We'll do that because I think that's more fitting. And then we're going to equal ran range. Open that bracket. And we're going to do from zero. Because remember, it counts It counts from zero to, it. that's how a race gets started. And we're going to go from zero to, and what we want to do is call our enemy list. So let's see, enemy list. And then we're going to do dot size. So what is size? Size is basically, hey, I want to grab on my array list and I want to grab all of it. So instead of that's that's code for, hey, I want to get all of it. I want to go from zero to all of it. So that's basically what size is. Honestly, we're, we're calling on all of it. 
And then um, that basically, that sets up our array. So we have officially calling on our array. And not only are we doing that, but we are doing it at a random range. Basically, it's going to go from zero to like whoever. So that, that gives that random element into it. So we have that. So now what we want to do is now create another variable. We're going to call it scene. And then we're going to basically, this is going to be our let's see enemy list. And then we want to basically instantiate it. Let's see here. Oh, hold on. We want to do enemy list and then open brackets. And then we want to call in our enemy spawn. And then we know we want to do dot instantiate. If I could spell correctly. Instance. So that's basically grabbing our enemy list. And we are calling on the enemy spawn. Remember we created an enemy spawn to grab all of our enemy list. And create it randomly. So that's what we are summoning. Uh, because that's what we want to do. When you ever call an enemy list. When you're calling on an array. It wants to ask, okay, who are you calling? And, you know, normally you would call like one at a time, but we're doing it randomly. So that's why I put enemy spawn. That was the creation of enemy spawn. So that way we can do rand range. And then that's how we're instancing that whole scene into it. Now, what we want to do, of course, we want to do scene.position. Position equals. Now we are going to want to do just like the old one, spawn spawn location dot position now this is starting to look familiar that's because it should and then add child and we want to basically add scene and that should be it with just a few lines of code we recreated what we did here but we went above and beyond and we created a rand dot range so that we, we can randomize the selection of our enemy list we put that in the variable enemy spawn and then we basically called upon that enemy list and we put it in our scene and so we can instantiate all of that or instance i don't know what i keep saying instantiate <laughs> so we can instance that and then of course we summon the position of that scene and we basically set it to the spawn location dot position and then we simply add the, the child to the scene or add the scene to the child and that's about it. You don't really need to change this location. You, we don't need to change any of this now because it's basically going off of what we've done here and then just basically summoning it. And uh, now it should work. Let's go ahead and test it out. Uh, let's see how this looks. Full screen it here. Now we get, let's see, enemy one, two. Now we're getting a bunch of random enemies popping out. That's fantastic. You see that? Look at that. Now we're getting a bunch of random enemies emerging from our spawn positions, and we're getting a bunch of random ones. Um, now, I'm going to go above and beyond here, and you're probably asking yourself, this is great, but how do I summon certain amount of enemies? Maybe you're asking yourself, I want to summon like one enemy from this array list for the first level. And then in the second level, I want to summon both of these enemies. And then in the third level, and then the fourth level, you get all four enemies. You're asking yourself, hey, Ghostbit, how do I go about doing that? So to go about doing that is you're going to basically copy this whole code. And let's say this is for uh, level one, right? And then for level one, we only want the first enemy to emerge. So the way to go about doing that is you want to minus the size. So right now, right here on this uh, first line of code here where it says enemy spawn, we have, we're summoning the whole size. And what you want to do is you want to go minus three. And so that way, when we hit play, and let's just pretend this is our first level, and now only the first enemy in the very first array is being called because we're minus, we're subtracting three from the entire array list. So that way, now that's all that we're getting. And then basically, what I want to do is copy all of this code, and then for level two, you can just go minus two. And as you guessed it, now we're going to get the first two enemies coming out from the array. And then, as you see what I'm doing here, and then basically do the same thing, you know, level three will be minus one, and you're going to get all three, only three, because they're subtracting only this one. Now we're getting, like, the first three enemies on here. You see, we got enemy one, two, and then three. See, there's, there's the third enemy, and then, you know, I don't have to show you the last one. The last one, just take all of this out. 
and then voila. And then you have enemies coming in at random. And there you go. That's how you summon multiple enemies in random. At randomize. See, now we have a bunch of random enemies. And there you go at the certain position. I hope this helped out. I want to thank the person who uh, asked me about this. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't for that suggestion. So I want to thank you. Uh, so hopefully this helps out a lot in making your game but much more randomized and much more like challenging here. I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe. I have plenty more uh, tutorials coming up. I have my beginner series tutorial and I'm currently writing the script for that. So for those of you who have been patiently waiting for that, I am currently writing the script. Hopefully have it out by the end of the month um, in March. Um, let me know. I do have more st uh, tutorial ideas for you guys here. Let me know if there's anyone you want to see in specific. Nothing too complex. I won't do anything like crazy or complex here, but I hope you liked the video. Uh, make sure once again, like and subscribe. This is Ghostbit and I will see you in the next tutorial.